hi everybody and welcome back to Nelly and Ruth Designs. Today I am going to make a collage, try to make a collage, a surreal collage. And that's where you take a bunch of different photos, uh, magazine, clippings, whatever you may have, and do something that's a little surreal. And I've been trying to do more of that in my Marguerite Miller. Um, I have to put the top on my glue. I'm sorry, I don't want it to dry out. Um, I've been trying to do that more with my Marguerite Miller weekly collage challenges. If you haven't seen my collage challenges, um, let me show you what I'm talking about. There's one in particular that, this one here, this is considered a surreal collage, okay? And i got to glue that down a little bit. Um, and it's where you take items and you just... You just make it in a way that it's, you know, it's it's not real. It's just surreal. Something you might see in a dream or, you know, I'm not quite sure what the definition of surreal is. But, you know, I think dreams um, can be surreal. Um, so that's an example of one. And it's really only the one that I've done. But I, I really, I'm very intrigued by that. And I think it just uses a lot of... Um, brain cells and it brings out your imagination and it looks how you looks it let me let me see if I can say this properly it allows you to look at a picture differently than you normally would so I have some images here I have these are old 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 this is from the 1946 better homes and gardens that I have and it has a lucky strike um cigarette these are tobacco leaves it looks like they're in some sort of a barn these two people here and yes ma'am it was uncle sam who made tobacco even or better than ever um, if they only knew didn't they right if they only knew back then um what it would do to you i picked this image because i just I liked these three people. I can't figure out if this is a bag with the tobacco leaves, but regardless, this window, I had something in mind for the window and something in mind. So then I guess I'm also going to tell you my thought process and how I try to go about a collage. So if you're interested in collage work and with the surreal and just how I go about a collage, how I look at it, how I process it, um, how I take the first steps. Um, I'd love to have you stick around. And of course, if you like the video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up and always leave a comment. Um, so I'm going to use this. I did use in one other uh collage for Marguerite Miller. I did use a cigarette ad. I don't endorse smoking. I got one comment. The person said, well, it would have been nicer if you had used. Well, yeah, it would have been nicer, but this is 1946, and I'm just going back to the ads. Um, they were special all unto themselves, so I'm not a smoker. I don't endorse smoking. I'm not promoting it. I'm just using it. Um, so this is another image that I saw of this home. And I thought it was just, I wanted to, do, wanted to do something and fit it in with this here. So I have that image. Then I have um, a giraffe because I love giraffes. So I wanted to use this giraffe. And I have all of these pinup girls and I just adore them. And I want to try to fit her in. I have an idea. I'm not sure if she will fit. She is a rather buxomy lad. Um, but I think she'll fit in here. And then I found this can of tomato juice because she is healthy. She'd rather drink tomato juice, juice than have a cigarette in her hand in between her fingers. And then I found this gal doling out some buns and I plan on using her because she is the perfect uh, she's in the perfect position and the perfect shape 
for her to do something in this ad. So I'm going to get these cut out. Um, you don't need to stick around for that, and I don't need to do that in front of you because I'm going to be fussy cutting. I may cut this scale with my X-Acto knife because I notice people have been watching my How I Fussy Cut um, video, and I can show you how I tackle her hand and around her hair with my with my knife. So the others I will cut out, and I have this Reminisce. Uh, this is from a Reminisce magazine that I was given. My brother gave me a bunch of these to use for collage art. So I'm going to get these others cut out, and then we'll come back, fussy cut her, and then we will try to make a surreal collage. All right, so I thought I'd come back and show you how I fussy cut. I have everything else cut out here. Um, I think she might be a little big, but I'm going to have to figure it out. I have this gal cut out, and then I have my house cut out, and I have the giraffe cut out, which I'm leaving some extra um, paper at the bottom to play with. So I'm going to cut her out, and I'm going to have to play with her. But like I said, I want to show you how, because some of you may think, oh gosh, that's, it's too, it's too hard to cut around the fingers and the hair. So I'm going to show you what I do. And um, whenever you have, a lot of people would try to go all the way around in one fell swoop. I don't do that. Um, I take it in sections. So you can see here, I have this cut, so I will pull this away. Hear that helicopter in my airspace? I don't like that. We have helicopters fly over our home all the time. I don't know if they're looking for pot plants. I don't know if they're... Hear it? I don't know what they're doing, but I don't like it. Sometimes I go out. They must think I'm a crazy lady. I go out and I tell them to get out of my airspace. So, I just do sections like this, okay? And when I go around to curve, remember, take your knife and kind of cut underneath it like that and you'll get a sharper you'll get a cleaner cut around that curve okay see that then if your paper gets bent just a little bit from doing that curve it's okay you can just straighten it back out but that's the best way I think to go around curves and you don't have to take do it all in one fell swoop see that and then just cut that away Then when you get down to a tight curl like this, I just go in the opposite direction. Whichever way I'm comfortable with, keep turning your paper. Okay. Come around, come around. And you can even start your curve up above, okay, and come down around like that. But by turning your knife a little bit, see, getting that angle on it makes it a little bit easier to go around these curves. And then you get a nice clean cut. You come around her nail, and then I'm going to just come up here and meet with that. And then I'm going to take my scissors and just take this part off. All right, so see how easy, see how nice her hair comes out there. And then when you work on her hand, you're going to do the same thing. Anytime you have a curb, curve, go under a little bit, take that, slice it underneath. 
Okay, I'm not going to pull this away yet because I want that um, grip on there. See, just carve it around. And I always work where I can see the image. That's why I'm constantly turning the paper so I can figure out which way I'm going. Little curve, slice, okay. Bring that up, make sure it meets with that. And now I'm going to cut across take this out carefully so I don't okay this here And then for her nail here, you just kind of come up there. And then you have her, you have her hand. Now, if you want to make these less pointy, that and then you can take your not too much though. You can take your scissors and just kind of give her a little trim, give her a little manicure. All right, so see how easy that was? Just take your time, turn your paper, get your, remember that when you go around a curve, get your knife on the slant like this, okay? Don't try to go around it like this. You can, but sometimes it's just easier to get that slant and kind of get underneath it. So that's just how I do it. All right, so let me bring everything over. She might be a little too big. I'm going to have to figure this out. Okie dokie. All right, so I have a whole bunch. I've only been playing for, with this for a while. So here's our gal that we fussy cut. Now, I want you to understand, when you do a surreal uh, collage, it's not going to happen in <laughs> a half hour or whatever. You have to really think about how you're going to piece everything together, what you're going to do, where you're going to make your cuts. Now, it doesn't have to be complicated at all. Uh, I'm just laying my pieces out here. But I just want you to realize that it's going to take a little bit of time. The reason I like it is that it just really makes me think and it makes me be creative. Um, it makes me think of you know, what I could do that is surreal and out of the norm. So I think it's a really good, I think it's just a good challenge. It's better than, than all the challenges. I think it's better than all the challenges out there that you see on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Um, so I have all of my little bits and pieces here. Look at her. I have this gal cut out. I cut her hair out because I'm only going to use her face. I have a butterfly here with the wings, his little antennas. I have a, um, I have a sedum here. And I'll t I will tell you one thing. I cut this out with my scissors and I should have used my, um, uh, exacto knife because I understand when women say I hate fussy cutting because if you don't have an exacto knife and you're just using scissors it's a pain in the butt I don't like it at all um, this took me a little while to go around with my scissors I should have used my exacto knife all right so let's get started so I'm going to build this on um, my mat here and then I'm going to transfer it over onto my paper. The only thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I get the uh, size right here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, 
I believe that this is going to have to be, and you're going to see me fiddle faddle with this, but I think if I have it, I can put it out this far, okay? So I'm going to slide this out, slide this down and out, down and out. I'm going to put that back over here. And now I can get started. I just wanted to make sure that was at the right dimensions for my, uh, for where I'm going to be placing this. And I'm going to raise my camera up a little bit so I get this all in view. Okay, how's that? All right. So I think what I'm going to do is scream. So I believe this comes, and this is where your patients have got to prevail. This is going to come forward like this. All right. I believe that's how it's going to go. This scale obviously does not fit up here. That's where I was originally going to have her in between these two. So I came up with a totally different plan. She is going to, and I see, you're going to see how I cut this here. She is going to be hanging out right here. And I want her, so I may have to adjust this. I want her to cover this scale up right here. Okay. So she's going to be here. And this here will go up now, okay? And this is where you're just going to have to fiddle with it. It's kind of like when you're sewing, you just have to fiddle with this stuff. And I think what I can do, because she's getting caught on this stuff here, I can trim this right here. Let me trim that off because she is getting caught on that. We don't need that. So this goes behind. This goes up front. Like this. This goes up front. She comes around. Doing this backwards. I have to get her right here okay so you're gonna see where this is this is you think fussy cutting is a chore this here is all right so let me see how did I have her I had her up like this leaning a little bit more I believe like this I want to get, see, this girl's shoulder, I want to get her up here to cover most of her up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little piece of washi tape here so she doesn't keep slipping and sliding because this is the only way I'm going to figure this. So, again, oh, we don't need that. We just have to, you just have to work with it. Um, this will go over. Okay, so I can put that little piece of washi tape there. This is going to tuck under. I had to make a little, whoops, for her arm. Hold on, hold on. Okay, her arm is coming over the house. So let's put that there. Already you're saying, forget it. I'm not doing this. This is not for me. But 
This is just so much fun. Okay, so there we go. All right, so I believe that is how we are going to have her. All right. So what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to add another little tiny piece of washi right there. So we have all of this in And we need to just have everything at an angle because of her. It's all because of her. Her and her dastardly deeds. Okay, so we're going to put this like that. So we're going to straighten this out, okay? So there, there she is. All right, now, it is kind of funky, isn't it? Because she's in an angle. These lucky strikes are at an angle. I want this to be straight. Okay. All right. So there you have it. So you're going to have to fuss and play. I think that's the fun thing. It's just a challenge. All right. Now we have our giraffe and we have Mr. Giraffe coming up through and I can I'm going to put him right about here. All right. So I'm going to tip him over. And I'm just going to add just a little, a little touch of washi there. Actually, I'm going to put him on the other, I'm going to put this on the other side. Like I said, these collages do not happen. Now we have to remember we have the Campbell's soup can. And she's going to be holding the Campbell's soup. All right, right about here. And we're going to have our so if we have this here, uh, we can bring our giraffe up some. So he is out of the way. So we are going to put We can put the giraffe, we're going to put the giraffe right here like that, okay? So then I can flip him over and I can tailor this to here so... on okay and I will tailor him a little bit more once I get this glued down so here is our Campbell's soup can all right and then the next thing we have going on is we have this scale right here where I cut her I went and it's a terrible thing. I slit his throat. I cut, let's say I cut out his collar and she is going to go right in here like this. Okay. She's going right in here. And I'm just going to add a little tiny piece of washi to hold her. And then she is going to be sporting This headdress here
just like that. Okay, so we're going to put that there. All right. And then the butterfly, I can actually glue this down, is going on her right there like that. And I can glue this down now. I'm going to make sure it all fits on my page. Then I can glue it. I can glue it all down. And remember, it's surreal, so you want different elements creating different illusions here. And let's make sure this fits on my page, and then we can get it all, we can get it glued down. And I'm starting it. This is actually my collage book that I do my Marguerite Miller in. And I'm, I'm starting in the back because I'm going to have extra pages. And this is where I'm going to put some of these surreal. Uh, okay, so that's all good. That's going to fit on there nicely. So now I can start gluing. And getting this all put down. But like I said, this this took me a little bit um, to do, but I did not mind because it's just it's a good brain exercise, and you can start out with um, simpler ones. I mean, why would I want to do a simpler one? Why would I want to make things easy for me? <laughs> uh, When I can jump in with both feet and I think I'll put her ear, I'm going to put, I'm going to cover her ear. I'm going to cover her ear. So if one thing doesn't work, you try something else. Um, I tried a few different varieties of plants on her and they didn't work so I just kept looking and trying until I got what I liked but I think again that's half of the fun of it because you're really um you're really moving those brain cells. And that's what it's all about to me. Okay, I'll clip that off after. I'll give that a minute to dry. All right, my giraffe here. I always work from the back forward as well. So my giraffe... I'm going to get him down up here. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to get this glued on, um, I think, after. Let's get the house. Let's get the house down. All right. Let us get the house down here. I'm going to leave that piece of washi right there. Okay, that goes there. Let's move this. This I had sliced earlier because I thought I was going to do something else, but that's okay. That just fits right back together like that. And 
then we're going to get her, just this part of her arm down here. I don't want it to go too fast with her because I've got to attach that Campbell's soup can. Okay, all right. And let's get the Campbell's soup can down now. Into place. And then I can go in the back and I can fix that uh, giraffe for only the part here that I want to see. She's holding that soup can. And then I can take this giraffe here. And I can, I'm going to go slow. Because um, I don't want to. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this little white space here. I don't want to take that out. And then I will just glue this down. And there it is. Um, I will just cut this off here. I don't want this hanging over the page. And we will add this here to the page. And I'm just going to put one strip down here, one down on this side, and then I can... down there like this. Okay. All right. Now I can get the bottom. And I don't care if I have white showing because it just shows the outline of the collage. And I'll put a little bit of glue up here. And it is done. So this was a lot of fun to do. Um, that is a lot of fun to do. So my story is this. You've got, you have the home here, the little girl waiting for her daddy to come home, but he's still at the tobacco factory and he's eyeing that pack of lucky strikes. And these girls are doing everything in their, in their uh, realm of possibility to get him to think about something other than these cigarettes. Um, but he's not, he's not interested in the tomato juice. He's not interested in this gal here with her fancy headdress. He just wants them. He wants those cigarettes. So that is it. Um, I hope you like this little tutorial and some ideas as how to create a surreal collage. Um, they are quite fun. It's just fun looking through magazines and finding the images. And you can always, these gals I got on Etsy. I will put the link in the description as to where I where I purchase these digitals. They're a lot of fun. I use them a lot for a lot of different things. So again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments and I will see you down the road. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.